brothers, sisters, these are the wetlands that border the Thames River in London. And in the London borough of Havering, they are part of a wide valley called the Ingreburn Valley. The Ingreburn River is right there at the middle of it. And here I've come to reflect on the reality that this week, Lord has called us to a time of prayer. The Lord has called us to a season of prayer. Prayer because it is the lifestyle of the end of the age. It is the lifestyle of those who are truly redeemed by the blood. Why prayer? Prayer is a means of communication with the headquarters of the kingdom in the heavenly realm. The throne of grace is the headquarter of the kingdom. They are seated at the throne. And right under the Father is the king of the kingdom, Yeshua HaMashiach. And we are told to come in his name. Come in his name. Come. Come to receive help in time of need. So prayer is actually a response to his call. He calls us to come. He beats us to come. And we come with an open heart. We come in faith. We come because we believe him. We come because we trust him. We come to seek help in time of need. Brothers and sisters, this week the Lord is calling us to set apart. You know, set apart. Find a solitary place. And not only that, we are told, you know, Mark 135, Yeshua HaMashiach, every day he went out early before the day broke to pray it's time to pray time to seek the face of the lord time to see him in glory time to know him in glory prayer and faith will make a difference brothers and sisters there's none of us that doesn't need prayer you meet anybody who doesn't need prayer you probably meet somebody who is not existing on this side of eternity we need prayer and the greatest of our prayer need is the area of what we cannot do for ourselves that we need his help we need his grace we need his intervention there prayer becomes even more effective because prayer is an act of humility it is an act of transparency lord i don't have enough strength i need your strength in our weakness his strength is made perfect don't tell me you can't pray if you can breathe you can pray if you are born again you can pray why you are a child of the most high you have the dna of the father right inside of you you have access to the throne of grace by the blood that Yeshua shed. He broke down the middle wall of partition, giving you access to come near and pray. Come and talk to the Father. Talk to Him about your spiritual need. This week, we want to encourage every one of us to make it a time to do an inward journey. Ask Holy Spirit, search me, O Lord. Try me. What are my motives? What are the things that go on in my mind? What congests my mind? Is it pure? Is it holy? Is it honest? Is it just? Is it of good report? As Philippians 4, 8 says, is it time to pray about everything that will pertain to life and godliness? We need to pray. If you are struggling with your career and you are not making forward movement, you are running around circles, one step forward, one, two steps backward, two this way, three this way, you're just running around, you probably need prayer for breakthrough, breaking forth, breaking out of that place that the enemy seemed to have entrapped you. But this week, we want to focus on praying for spiritual health, praying to attain to the righteousness of Elohim. Remember, Matthew 6, 33, often one part is or ignored. He says, seek for the kingdom and his righteousness. All of that he shall be added to you. Now, listen. Most of the time, we can even understand the kingdom. We know the righteousness. If you want to know the righteousness, I invite you to join us in an ongoing study on understanding the human nature and one we just finished called Personal Spiritual Growth and Maturity. Right on Facebook, Apostle George. And if you can't get it, Apostle George, go to YouTube. Type G-S-O-M, Caps TV. That's the name of the channel. You probably will see my name or Pastor Grace's name anywhere on YouTube. If you search for our names, you may not get there because since the Lord called us and began to bring revelation of the reality that He is the center of the entire kingdom, everything should be about Him, we fear. We stand in awe. How can we put a poster with our face 
asking you to come and see us. How can we put out a program on YouTube and call it by our name, Apostle George Channel? Somehow, we, it, it's something we have, you know, we just are too scared to contemplate. So where you can find the videos of our teachings and you find probably about 850 or more videos is GSOM TV on YouTube. That's the channel. GSOM stands for Global School of Ministry. One more time. This week, the Lord is calling us, come, come into my chamber. Come, let me preserve you. Come away from the crowd. Come away from the hubbub. Come and have an encounter with the God who loves us enough that he sent his only begotten son, Yeshua, to die for us. Let's not behave as if that chasm, that divide is still operative. There is a wide Ingribon Valley. The River Thames. This is part of the overflow of the River Thames. Okay? If it, the River Thames overflows, it comes all over here. It, it's, it's part of what makes up that valley. You see the river over there, the Ingribon. This is a quiet area. This is an area for contemplation. And there may be some area just around you. Look for where you can take some time, get out of the crowd, get out of activity, and give the Lord some time. Prayer is it's bespoke. Don't be intimidated by those who can pray much, yes, by the grace of the Lord. By His grace, we do pray. But don't be intimidated by that. Even if it's 10 minutes you can spend with the Lord, connect with Him. Heart to heart. Mind to mind. Will to will. Where you don't know what to pray, let the Holy Spirit pray through you. It's time to pray. But let's pray in faith. Pray what you believe and believe what you pray. If you don't believe, don't pray. Pray what you believe and believe what you pray. And you know what? This weekend, by the grace of the Lord, we're going to have a Zoom meeting Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, for those of you in the United States of America, probably will ask teacher Stephanie Foster and Mr. Ann Waston to put together your time of praying every day so that you can go to your work, that it won't affect your work. You know, you can have your own prayer time Friday and Sunday and Saturday. We can all meet together, you know, to pray. To pray it out. But even if you can't make the Zoom, pray where you are. Can you imagine the Hebraic calendar? This is the 10 days of awe. When you do a deep in what search that ends in Yom Kippur this weekend. And that calendar is fairly accurate in terms of capturing the mind of the Father of times and seasons. So, make it a time to pray. Don't let this period pass you by. Watch. Pray. But pray in faith. And the Lord bless you. One more time, let me show you a little bit of the valley, the beautiful valley, the Ingribon Valley, the River Thames, overflow, all this area, at least right there, all the way to the River Thames of London. Have a blessed day. May the Lord quicken you in the inner man. May the Lord strengthen you and grant you the ability to pray this week. Pray, pray, pray. Thank you so much for being with us on this program and watching and we believe you learned something and the Lord bless you. Now it's time to connect with us on our social media platforms. We have a daily live stream on Facebook Monday all the way to Sunday every day by about 10.30 a.m. UK time and that's the same as Nigerian time and you, it's either Apostle George Monday to Friday uh, to Thursday, Pastor Grace uh, Friday to Sunday and then in the evening of Sunday we have two sessions from 5.30 to about 6 after 6 another one up to 7 so please join us on the live stream and you're going to enjoy it we also visit our website www.gsom.ac to download free ebooks this course you just listened to all these lessons you know there's an ebook we have free of charge everything we do is free but more importantly you can actually do your program on you know ebooks you can do your program entirely on ebooks and with this video or anyone you want you can also if you want to do the yes course or be do the master class you can go to www.kingdomboostclub.com and you can subscribe so that you can do it you can also subscribe to our channels 
this YouTube, gsom.tv, and we also have a Telegram channel, GSOM Media. You can send us an email at akclife.tv at gmail.com. We love you dearly and we want to partner with you to make sure that the body of Yeshua, Jesus, is empowered with truth. Remember, it is the teach, train, equip, activate, and release paradigm. Absolutely free of charge. Have a blessed day and we'll see you again soon.